All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Shelby Burlew, and I work as the Livestock Environmental Educator for Michigan State University Extension. I apologize um, that you're not able to see my video. Um, my webcam was not uh, functioning um, very well. So um, I was asked to go ahead and give um, uh, an introduction and a brief overview of the manure and soil health blog. Um, but I do also want to recognize my, my co-chairs um, in the development of this blog. So Rick Kelsch with the University of Nebraska and Mary Berg with North Dakota State University Extension are also helping me with this. Um, Leslie, if you could go ahead to, to the next slide, please. Alrighty, so we are um, working on um, what would be a monthly blog that will be published to help encourage ongoing conversations about manure management and soil health among experts and those who advise farmers. So we really want the content of this blog to be focused on the discussion of principles applicable to manure as a soil amendment, um, the distribution of current knowledge and information, and um, to be helpful in the identification of opportunities for accessing those untapped resources. We really want this to be a one-stop shop for folks um, to, to be able to get information. And um, so as we, we take a look at our target audience, um, we really want to focus these blogs for technical service providers. Um, so whether that be with folks from NRCS or um, the Soil and Water Conservation Districts, but we also want to reach out and, and be able to provide this information to um, extension um, educators or extension ed uh, agents that are out in the field, uh, crop consultants, um, comprehensive nutrient management plan providers, uh, retail agronomists, and um, we also want to reach out to uh, research and extension faculty within the north central states, uh, as well as farmers, uh, custom manure applicators, statewide industry organizations. Um, so for example, here in Michigan, we have the Michigan Pork Producers Association, so that could be an example, as well as state departments of agriculture, um, especially for those that are working um, in, within the environmental sector, uh, and then looking at different watershed groups. So we really have a wide um, a target audience, and of course our farmers, because I think this would be great information for producers within this area. And so as we look at distribution, um, we would like our, our the, the blog articles uh, pertaining to manure and soil health, we really want them to be repurposed for use within, you know, the local, state, regional, and national extension and agency newsletters. Um, so this could be... Um, things such as uh, Nebraska Extension Crop Watch, uh, the Livestock and Poultry Environmental Learning Center newsletters, um, Michigan State University Extension News, um, those various state extension crop and livestock newsletters. Um, we also uh, want to partner up, like I said, with the Livestock and Poultry Environmental Learning Center newsletter and different state manure management newsletters or blogs. Um, uh, also partnering up with North Central Region uh, Water Network newsletters, and then also working with NRCS Soil Health as a way to kind of um, repurpose our blogs and get them out to their readership as well. It's, it's definitely a, a partnership effort. Um, Leslie, if you could go ahead to, to my last slide. All right, so lastly, um, as, I, as, as the PowerPoint says, we really need you. Um, we are currently looking for authors, um, and so we, we're looking for authors to write um, one blog for use um, between the November, December of 2016 time period through July of 2017. And so as we look for authors, we've got two different approaches um, in identifying authors. Uh, obviously, the first choice would be a volunteer approach. Um, so I know as we move on, Rick will have some, some um, links uh, for folks that might be interested in submitting a, an article for the 
blog. Um, and then our second choice of, of getting authors would be just a solicitation of known experts in the field. Um, we do have a really good um, guidance for our authors, um, so we will help you and we will let you know kind of what we're expecting um, as far as word limits, um, photographs, graphics, all of that. So we have a lot of really good um, uh, good resources. And so with that, I think that is all that I have, but most importantly, we're looking for followers. So uh, keep in tune, and um, if, if you're interested in receiving this blog, uh, let either Rick or myself or Mary know, and um, we'll definitely get you on the list to, to either receive the blog or, or, um, or maybe even if you want to go ahead and author a blog. So.